Hey, Stephen Veronica Kibler here again, and today it is Thanksgiving, and we are at Cracker Barrel in Kodak, Tennessee. So if you're an empty nester, if you're all about traveling, you can always stop in at a Cracker Barrel on Thanksgiving for a wonderful meal. So we're going to go in here and take a look at what's going on and as we walk in of course they still have these beautiful thanksgiving decorations um, for sale but we were just really pleasantly surprised at how efficient the restaurant was running today as busy as it was we really didn't have to wait long to be seated and they had a setup in the back of the restaurant where folks were driving through and picking up their thanksgiving meals to take home uh, so that was uh, very impressive at how quickly things were moving and did, we did not have to wait very long at all to be seated or to have our meal brought out to us. Yeah, it was a, it was a fine oiled machine that day. Thanks, I think this Thanksgiving day here in Kodak, Tennessee. So we are just taking a look at the beautiful items that they have for available for sale while we're and uh, wait here for a couple of minutes before going into uh, our table and going to order our meal. Mm -hmm. so this is the menu for Thanksgiving Day. So they still had a lot of the regular items and then here at the bottom is where they have the homestyle turkey and dressing meal and a country fried turkey meal. And we went with the homestyle turkey and dressing yeah, meal. One of the traditional meals today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the country fried turkey is good also. But they, the waitress told us that they also offer a turkey meal I think on one day of the week. I think it was a Wednesday. Maybe. Wednesday. So we were, mm -hmm. we were glad to hear that if we have a craving for turkey, Thanksgiving mm -hmm. turkey meal, that's where we can get it. And I ordered the Gambino sparkling wine to go with my meal and it was uh, really good. It's, it's an Italian uh, champagne and it was a little bit dry and a little bit sweet so it was kind of in the middle so it was a, a good balance of flavors to go with that delicious turkey mm -hmm. dinner that I had. I had never seen that brand before but it, you know I believe if you say it was really good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. It was good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just the right amount. For mm -hmm. a like that. Mm -hmm. It was the perfect amount, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're enjoying it. I did. I did <laughs> enjoy my glass of champagne and mm -hmm. uh, my turkey, even though it looks a little dry here, it really wasn't. Um, they just happened to have put the gravy on the bottom instead of the top, but it was actually moist and uh, flavorful throughout, and the uh, yams. Um, sweet potato casserole um, were also delicious. I love I love sweet potatoes, and the cornbread dressing was um, delicious. Also, very well balanced uh, spices. And this was my turkey plate. As you can see, the gravy's on top of the turkey. I don't know why they didn't put it on Veronica's that way. It came out at the same time. But mine had the gravy on top, and in the, everything was just so good. The green beans, the, the dressing. And I think you said it was a cornbread dressing? Yes, it was a yeah. cornbread dressing. It was really mm -hmm. good. Though. It was really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like the spices, spices they used. Everything. Was, and I eat everything on my plate. It was, mm -hmm. it was that good. It wasn't overspiced, um, mm -hmm. the dressing. It was, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you get dressings mm -hmm. that are too too many spices. This was a good balance mm -hmm. of spices. And you see that the turkey was really moist. Cut really easy. And, oh, it, it had a really good flavor. I was real happy with it. You know, because sometimes, um, you know, you just never know what to expect. It was a good turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that it didn't, it was, it was moist. Even though mine looked a little dry, it wasn't dry. It was actually moist in the middle. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It went well with that mm -hmm. champagne. You know, every, everything complemented each other. It was, it was just like a, you know, a grandma made Thanksgiving meal. That was very, really we're happy to go there and spend it with Veronica at Cracker Barrel. Now the yams did have like walnuts or something. There was a pecans, a, I a think, pecans, in there. So they were crunchy. Mm. I'm not used to yeah. having crunchy mm -hmm. um, nuts in mm. my yams. No, but I, I they could were, have give or taken that but, part of it. But, but they were good. Yeah. I, I mean, the flavor was still good. You know, it was 
Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. I like the like brown sugar flavor on there. Yeah, not, not bad at all. Again, I don't know why they didn't put the gravy on top of your turkey like mine was served, but it's good. Yeah, it was it was still very delicious. And I was surprised that that turkey meat had flavor throughout the whole meat. I, it wasn't just on top. I was very surprised. I mean, it was just the right amount of portions too. I was, I was pretty full. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty good meal all together. And it even came with a dessert we'll show you here in a little bit. Even though I think you like the yams as a dessert also. I like eating my yams as a dessert. I always save them for last because they're very sweet. So mm -hmm. naturally sweet usually. Mm -hmm. Um, so they, to me, they taste like a dessert, and that's why I eat them last. Now they brought out the the biscuits, and we also had the cornbread muffins. They had the pie prepared to go, so the waitress said, "That's the way they prepared them." We're like, "Okay, no worries. We we can eat it now. We still have a little bit of room left." Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like a Thanksgiving meal is not complete without a piece of pumpkin pie. So I, I know I wanted to go ahead and eat it while we were there. The um, the spices used in this pie were right the right balance they did not overdo it on the cloves which can overpower a pumpkin pie sometimes this was just very well balanced mm -hmm. the only thing i do prefer um, on a pumpkin pie is the crust um, be a little bit more flaky this was probably made with butter which makes it a little bit more cake-like doughy and i prefer mine a little bit more flaky mm -hmm. Uh, but nevertheless, it was still a very delicious slice of pumpkin pie. And I had that with coffee and it went so good. So I, it's not Thanksgiving unless you have a slice of pumpkin pie, in my That's opinion. It. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You've got to have turkey and you've got to have pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my opinion. So this is our waitress, Lori, and we just wanted to give her a shout out and thank her for working on Thanksgiving Day to serve us who go out to eat a Thanksgiving dinner at Crackle Barrel. You know, we're very thankful for everyone that's subscribed to our channel. And we hope and that you're all having a good Thanksgiving and a wonderful day. And we ask that if you like the videos we're bringing you, the so, you know, subscribe to our channel and click on the thumbs up and uh, let us know if you like our videos and uh, post comment. any yeah. comments you like and we or questions, we'll try to answer those for you. And we wish you all a, a beautiful Thanksgiving and a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for watching. Until next time.